Hey guys, how you doing? Uh, welcome back to the Leaders World. Well, I have to run out, get these rolls for my granddaughter um, at the grocery store. Oh, two for twelve dollars. Oh, that's green beans. So, um, I don't have a price on that bacon. And I gotta drop it off at her school, so I decided to bring you guys along with me. Let me not look around. I don't have time. She need dinner rolls for the school. Um, they having a, some type of, uh, you know, holiday celebration, luncheon at the school. So I got to get these dinner rolls. Hmm. Let's see, maybe I found something a little cheaper. If I can't, I'm just gonna have to buy two, two bags of the expensive dinner rolls. Oh, but they got my, my bagels. I've been wanting these bagels. You guys, these is the best bagels ever. Save more with digital coupon. So I'm gonna have to bring in my digital coupon, $4.99 with digital coupon and I don't have to buy more than one. Okay, good, good. I hate the fact when they say you gotta buy four or five. I know guys, I know. These things are so good and they, they're fresh and they more better. These are, let me show you, they're Dave's. And they don't have all them um, chemicals, all that extra additives in it, preservatives and all that mess. That's why I buy those. Okay, now back to the dinner rolls for my grandbaby. Uh. Okay. Oh, well, here's some Hawaiian, Hawaiian rolls. Two for five, but these is cheaper. Classic dinner rolls. Two for four. Brown and sir. Brown and serve in there. They don't, we ain't got, you ain't got to cook them. You can just give them. They already cooked, so I'll get those. Now, guys, what I have to do is go over here and I need to get some fresh cilantro, yellow onions, you know, because uh, Pauletta's making a uh, chili for the church. So, um, she sent me with a list. <clears throat> hmm. I gotta find the onions. <laughs> Ooh, yellow squash. That look good. One pound. Dollar forty-nine. That's basil. I don't need basil. I need fresh cilantro. I need these onions. A bag of Fresh onions, $1.39 a pound. Four pound bag, $1.39 a pound. That don't look good. I'm gonna have to get my own. Okay, let's see, where's the bags? Oh, here we go. Okay guys, give me a minute and I'll be back. <laughs> New Manchester High School. This place is gorgeous. That's my granddaughter go to school here. They're the Jaguars. <laughs> Grandma duties today. Dropping off dinner rolls. Apply to college. I love that. Letting them know they can do more. All right, guys. So I'm talking over the music because I don't want to get any strike. But we're going to do a huge grocery haul today, which is Monday, I think. 
It's Friday. Oh, Lord, it's Friday, November 17th. So next Thursday is Thanksgiving. We already got turkeys and stuff in the oven. We already got um, a lot of our stuff for Thanksgiving um, put away. But I went out today to get the last of the items along with other things we need for the house. This first haul is going to be from Kroger. And they have buy one, get one free of the Blue Bell ice cream. So I got the buy one, get one free. So for, I got all of this for only $5.49. And I got pecan praline and cream and a Mulani crunch. I've never, Millennium crunch. I um, never had it, but we're going to try it. It's vanilla flavored ice cream with caramel and chocolate flavored chunks, pecans, oh, almonds and walnuts. Artificially uh, natural and artificially flavors added. All right. And that's a half a gallon. So um, we'll see what it tastes like. But I'm going to come back. I haven't eaten all day. It is 12 o'clock and we're going to uh, get into this haul. I just wanted to show you the ice cream first because your girl... Got to put it in the freezer, and I may forget about it. All right. Bye for now. Okay, guys. I am back. So I had my lunch. I had a sandwich. And now we're going to go over today's haul. I swear for God, this does not look like a um, hundred and, let's say, $90 worth of items. Look at that. But it is. It is. Only thing um, missing, remember I told you guys, I put away, um, I've already put away my ice cream. Now, before we get started, we're gonna, I'm gonna show you my receipt. This is Kroger. I went to two stores today. I went to Kroger and Food Depot. Kroger receipt, total amount came up to $108. As you all can see and I'm gonna turn the camera around so you guys can see over here um, on my counter well it's not showing you guys I'll walk it over there you guys I'll walk it and show you I'm gonna walk slowly so it's told the camera steady over here I have these eggs was only five dollars for 60 eggs so I got them I got a mix of chicken broth. I got chicken, uh, regular sodium, and then I got low sodium, and I also got beef. I got a whole case. I, I like to keep broth in my house because I use them in beans, greens, you know, anything that need a broth, I use them uh, in. And we are out. That is something we never run out of. Um, but I used it the last time I cooked some greens and I also buy the vegetable broth <clears throat> and that's for doing the time that I'm doing my vegan and uh, my healthy vegan plant based and I'm not eating any meats. I'll use uh, vegetable broth in my beans and things instead. So let's get, keep on moving. So that the eggs and that came from, um, Kroger. Now, the reason I got my broth, the canned broth, I normally get it in the box, but I found I was saving money by getting it in the can. Two cans um, wind up being a dollar and I think 39 cent um, because they were 69 cent with the clip it coupon, a can. And I generally get it in the box. I always get the cases with the box. And the box uh, at Sam's Club for chicken broth uh, was just too high this weekend. I would have been spending a dollar and eighty-seven cents a box. I like to buy it when it's at ninety-nine cent, but I know it's the holidays, so I could. I knew I wasn't gonna get it for ninety-nine cent a box because the box I think is twenty-two ounces of broth, of broth in the in there, twenty-four ounces of broth. Uh, or something like that that come you know come in a little box so I came out ahead by getting that because uh, it's 69 cent a can which wind up being a dollar 
and um, a dollar thirty twenty nine or thirty nine cents, something like that. Do you do the math? You do the math. So I got a whole case of that, and I'm happy about it. Um, I'm looking over here. I'm not saying my, I'm not saying the bra, the, uh, the broth on here. I know I paid for that broth. The lady came over. Oh my God, I didn't, I didn't pay for it. Oh no. Well, they didn't charge me for it. It's not on my receipt. It sure isn't. Yams, cheese, marshmallows, salami. Uh, plus card, cheese, bluebell ice cream, Nabisco cookie, Oreo cookie. Oh, oh, I got the Nabisco Oreo cookies from there. Okay. Uh, cool Whip, Folgers coffee, Folgers coffee syrup, queso pie crust, pie crust, eggs. Guys, they didn't charge me. That was truly a mistake. I don't know why, how I, I, I don't know how it didn't get rung up. So basically, I got all those for free. Okay, thank you, Jesus. But um, let's get started. I got Smithfield bacon. This was only, um, I think it was $4.99. And I'm going to use these to make uh, my deviled eggs. When I make my deviled eggs, I, I, I decorate them with crispy bacon on top. It just takes your devil eggs to another level. First time I did it was last year. Um, I'll try and link. Uh, I did it up. First time I did it was last year on Easter. So I'll try and link that at the end of this rest, uh, end of this vlog so you guys can see. I got smoked turkey, turkey wings, um, $4.91 for one and um, $5 for the other. Here's the cheese. Now I'm gonna make a cheese board. So I got cheese and pepperoni and um, salami. I also got, uh, that's Gouda. And I got the cheddar sharp, already sliced. Uh, I know I could have cut up my own cheese, but you guys know I have a nerve damage. So sometimes you gotta, you gotta do what you gotta do for health reasons. And then I got the, the Genoa um, cut salami. So that's gonna be on the cheese board. I'm not doing a charcuterie board. I'm just gonna do a ch plain cheese and meat board. And I might put some olives on there. And that's it. I'm not doing like I did last year. I made a charcuterie board. I also got some uh, cilantro, fresh cilantro. Paulette is uh, doing a chicken chili for the church. So she needed that. Plus, she needed yellow onions, so I got two yellow onions. I got a pack of four red onions, and um, they was not that cheap either. Uh, I don't see, I don't see the price on here. I did see it. Well, anyway, y'all know I got them. Stuff is high these days, but I did the best I could with getting deals. This was a dollar and sixteen cents marshmallows. They had the cheese on sale for the macaroni and cheese. Um, I also got this queso uh, cheese, quesadilla cheese, shredded cheese. This Mexican queso cheese is the bomb. It doesn't matter which brand you get, um, get the Mexican queso cheese, quesadilla cheese. It's called queso, whatever you want to call it. This stuff, go. It just take anything you do to the next level. I got four of the Dave's Bagel. You guys seen that in the earlier uh, clip when we got started. I bought four of these for $4.99. These things normally range um, from seven, about 
and you can get them the cheapest I've ever really gotten them if I don't get them on sale was $6.99 so you can imagine that's very expensive but Dave's uh, killer bread is the best because once again they don't have all them preservatives so they were on sale for $4.99 with the coupon so I did the clip it coupon for that and got I got three of them um, and that's why it don't look like a lot, but I got stuff over here, um, sitting down on the floor. The stuff over here is because I didn't want to put it all up here, but I got something up here to show you. Like I got three of those sitting over here on the side. Then we got the deep dish Kroger, uh, ready pie crust. Yeah. Pie crust is pie crust. You know, these people, they, oh, I make my pie crust from scratch. It's the best. Pie crust ain't nothing but butter and flour. Butter, flour, and water. So, trust me. A pie crust is a pie crust. People be talking about, oh, your pie crust is so good. Oh, it's so good. Child, all I do is add butter, put, put extra butter on it. I put butter on my pie crust. And I, if I'm doing a pie... I put butter on the bottom of it, put it in the oven. That'll give it that extra buttery taste. Let it brown. Don't cook it, cook it. Let it brown just a little bit. You know, you just, so don't be gummy. That's, that's what, that's the key to making a good pie. And I, I, I let it brown a little bit. Then I fill it with my sweet potato pie, my sweet, my homemade sweet potato pie. People think that it's from scratch. I do, I do the same thing when it comes to my peach cobbler. I just buy a Pillsbury pizza dough. It's already in there. And I roll it out. I put extra butter on it. And I put lead in the bottom of the pan. I put it in the oven. I cook it just a little bit. Then I take it out. And then I put my filling in it. And then I, then I start layering the, um, the crust in between. But the crust is on that hot peach uh, filling. So, and then I put butter on that as well. As I do it, I put butter on it. As I do it, I put butter on it. And that's what give it its punch. It's the butter. Next, I got yams. Now I got, I had to, they didn't have the bag of yams. So I just uh, had to do them by weight. Oh God. I bought all of these for sweet potatoes and candy yams. And that was over $13. I said, my God, I have never spent $13.89 on no doggone uh, yams. Uh, but I didn't know. <laughs> I looked and they was charging $1.89 a pound or something like that. So that's why I spent so much. And then I get over to uh, the Food Depot and they $0.69 cent a pound. Go figure. My bad. I was too late by the end. Next, this is still Kroger. I got four bags of collard greens. Yes, I use bag greens. Y'all know. One, two, I ain't got to tell y'all. Y'all know why I use bag greens. But why I get them like this already cut up. But these right here, they don't have hardly no stems in them. There was no really, you know, sometimes you get them and they full of stems. This brand here, these is Georgia grown collards from Baker Farms. No stems. Very few. Very little stem. I didn't have, you know, stems really in them. See? You can even look at them. Look, look in there. You don't see a whole lot of stems. Baby, that's green. So I got four bags of those because I got to take greens over to my cousin's house. Um, we wasn't going to cook at first. So all, we were just going to um, do a little something at the house where I wouldn't have had to go out and shop. But um, my son and his family is coming over. So since uh, my son's wife is coming and the kids, uh, all the kids will be here this year, we are going to cook at our house too because they're not having dinner at my cousin's house until 7 p.m. Baby, I ain't never ate dinner at that late, but one of them have to work. Uh, my cousin's, his, his boyfriend has to work. So... Um, we're going to eat dinner with them at seven. So we'll probably, we'll eat our dinner here at our house. We'll, we eat early. We're normally eating by two o'clock. So by seven o'clock, we'll be hungry again. And so uh, Paulette got these tortilla chip chips. 
I don't know what I paid for these. I think they were a dollar or two dollars and something. Two something. Two fifty, I think is what it was, uh, for her uh, chicken chili for the church. And um, last but not least, they had these little things of Folgers coffee. Y'all know I'm a coffee drinker, baby. Got to have my coffee every morning. So they had these for $5.99, which means that they were $12 for two. Uh, so you see that? So, and it's, um, so it wind up being 45 point, this is 25 ounces up here. Oh, and this one is 22 ounces. Okay. So this is a 49, 49 ounces at 0 0.6, 49.6 .6 ounces total. And if I was to go and buy 49 ounces of coffee, the big thing of coffee, I would have spent like uh, about $15 for this. So when I seen $5.99, I'm like, wait a minute, that's a deal. That's only $12. I was just at Sam's Club. I think it was $14.99 or $16 something for the big thing of Folgers. And for my big thing of Maxwell House I get, I done dropped down to Maxwell House because I just refused to spend $16 on some dang gone coffee. So the Maxwell House, I'd be spending like $11 and $12 on it at Sam's Club. So I grabbed it. So that's what I'm going to be paying attention for the sales so I can stock up. So that's all we got for the Kroger haul, guys. I'm going to end this vlog right here, and I'm going to come back, and we're going to get started with the uh, Foodborne haul. This was $108. Foodborne haul was $78. So let me put this away, and I'll come back. All right, guys. So we back. You will not believe this little bit of stuff came up to $78. I ain't lying. Seven, and, and I was at the food depot. $78.10. That's ridiculous. Um, I got two fruit punches. sugar-free because I didn't want it to be too sweet. I'm going to make a, a Christmas punch. So I got two fruit punches for uh, $2.12 each. I got this Tropicana orange juice, uh, pulp free um, to go in it. I don't, I don't know how it's going to taste. I'm going to do a little practice. Uh, the Tropicana was six dollars and fifty nine cent. Oh my God! They charged me ten dollars for each one of these. This is only four packs for noodles for ten dollars. Oh, if I hadn't known that, I wouldn't have bought this. This is ten dollars. Oh my Lord! I thought they were seven dollars. Ten dollars and fifty nine cent. The girl said they are the bomb. Oh, my God. I would not have bought this. I'm being honest. I don't spend $10 on nobody's noodles. All right. Well, anyway, I got two of those. So that's the reason. That's $20, uh, $20, $21.09, $0.18. .09, right there. $21.18 for two noodles. I'm flabbergasted. Um... I got, never go in the store when you're hungry. Two mounds. Um, I got coconut flakes. This was $2.19. Um, and I got Sprites. Now, the Sprite was $1.67. Also, to go with my punch. They didn't have 7-Up. I ain't never been in a store that didn't have no 7-Up. Do they even sell 7-Up anymore? I don't buy soda, so I really don't know. Because I really don't drink soda. And I only... Um, I got the Sprite to make the, the punch. 
So I got three of those. They charged me $1.67 for two and $1.66 for one. I don't know why there's one cent different in the bottle. I, I have no clue, but they did. Then I got these slider pretzels, Hawaiian King slider pretzels. I made me a little sandwich when I got in one of the little slider ones. Those were $3.62. These mini um, sub rolls was $3.51. This was $6.50 for the big pack of Hawaiian sweet rolls. And that's it. That all came up to um, $68.91. Uh, six cost plus auto SA 10% tax. See, people be thinking that Georgia don't have tax. Georgia tax they food. California don't have food tax. We don't pay taxes on our food in California at all. Now, we will pay taxes on the soda water bottles because they're plastic bottles. But in California, there is no food tax. So I'm not used to this. And guys, ask me how much did I have to pay in food tax? Food tax was $2.30. But then they have, they add onto that a uh, auto SA tax. I don't know what a cost plus auto tax is, but that tax was $6.89. So they added on my $68 bill an additional $7, 8, $8.30 in taxes on food. Yeah, that's Georgia for you. And that's why I try and tell people when they say, oh, but it's much cheaper to live in Georgia than it is California. I've met a couple of Californians out here who've recently moved from California. I'm not talking people who moved to Georgia years ago before the economy changed. Yeah, it was cheaper then. But Georgia has caught up, got caught up. Georgia's home taxes is higher than Calif my taxes that I paid in California. Yeah. Their, their taxes on the homes out here is higher than it was in California. Um, and they tax your food. That's where they get you at. In other areas. You know, yeah, my house may be larger than the house that I would purchase in California for the money I paid here. Because the money I paid here will get you a shoebox in California. A one-bedroom or a two-bedroom. Really? Yeah. For almost 500000 in California, you get a two- or three-bedroom house, depending on where you live. Well, I lived in the San Francisco Bay Area. So for 400000 uh, you get a condo now and a small one at that. All right. Enough about my rent. Oh, and I also bought, you know what's missing? I don't know where it's at. Oh, I bought an 18 pack of chips and I bought uh, these chips. I'm looking at the 18 pack of chips. I knew it was two other things that I had bought. I don't, Frito Punch variety pack. Yeah, the variety pack was $9.08 for eight uh, pack of 18. I could have beat that at a regular grocery store. I could have got like 48 or 58 for $10. Uh, Food Depot is not that cheap. I don't know why people think it is, but it's not. It's just close to the house. And I just uh, realized I needed some other items, so I stopped. Um, and uh, these sour cream ruffles was $5.14. So I hope you all enjoyed this vlog. Hope it's not too it wasn't too long. This is Carmelita with the Leaders World Life After Retirement. And I hope you enjoy, enjoyed today's food haul. Um, if this is your first time watching me, please hit that thumbs up button. And also, if you're returning, hit the thumbs up button. That way, YouTube can share my videos with more and more people. And if you like what you see, hit the subscribe button. If this is your first time, coming. I not only do food hauls, I'm an eBay seller and I do uh, thrifting vlogs and what sold videos. 
you know, just sharing with you the life of an eBay seller. I sell on several platforms, and last night I just added up, I added a few items to offer up. I forgot about that platform. So currently I'm selling on OfferUp, Macari, Depop, eBay, and Poshmark. I will eventually go back to selling on Amazon, but they have changed the game over there so much. Um, I did used to sell on there back in 2017, I think it's what it was. So um, thanks for coming. Please subscribe. If you're returning, thank you, thank you, thank you. You know I love you all, uh, and I appreciate all your support. And please, as just like I told the earlier, the newbies, Hit the thumbs up button and continue to share my videos. And as always, everyone, remember, peace, love, and happiness is the only way to live. Bye for now. And if I don't see you before Thanksgiving, happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Enjoy your, fam your holidays with your family. And if you don't have family, go out and do something to help serve the people who don't have families. Um, and I'm going to wish you all the best because service is one thing that gives me joy. And if you try it, you might like it. Bye for now.